Hey guys, so today is going to be a bit of a different tutorial. I was contacted a while ago by Terry Brown, and she is an author, and she asked me to come up with a 1920s inspired look, which is going to be inspired by her book, Born of Illusion. And I did read the book, and it's an excellent book. It's based from the 1920s, and it's focused on like medians and magicians and everything, so it's just a fantastic book and really interesting. So I would recommend it if you are into these type of books. But she wanted me to base a look off the 1920s makeup, but kind of add a modern twist to it. And this is also in collaboration with Glamour Doll Eyes. So there were three eyeshadows that are going to be in the collection for the book. And there is a blue, a kind of gunmetal gray, and a white with like a purple duochrome to it. It's very pretty. And I featured all three of the shadows in this look so you will be able to see how they perform. So I will zoom in so you guys can see the look. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. So to start off this look, which I've already done, is I just applied some of my Max Painterly Paint Pot all over the lid and a little bit underneath the lower lash line. So next I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Gunmetal, and it's just kind of like a pretty silvery um, gray color. So I'm just going to be putting this all over the lid. I'm just going to blend that out. Next I'm going to be taking Deception from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a shimmery gray color. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Professional shader brush to apply that. And I'm just placing the shadow right over top of where we put the liner. So now I'm just going to take some more of Deception on my crown brush C433 and I'm going to um, blend out the crease but I'm going to bring the outer corner part kind of more straight out. As you can see on the side, I blended it more in a triangle form and then brought it up into the crease. And now I'm just going to bring the gray right up into my inner corner right by my nose. Alright, now I'm going to be taking Binge from Urban Decay, which is kind of like a dark blue color. That's it right there. And I'm going to be running this along the lower lash line. And I also quickly just um, tight line my upper and lower water lines while I was lining the bottom lash line. And now I am going to take Levitation from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a very pretty dark blue. And what I'm going to do with the shadow is just run it right along the lower lash line and kind of smoke it down a little bit. As you can see I did on this side, I really, really smoked it down. So I'm just going to be taking my crown brush IB130 to apply this. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of Urban Trash from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a matte black. And I'm going to be using my Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And what I'm going to do with the shadow is I am just going to be applying it right on the outer V just to kind of really smoke out the outer corner. And I'm going to be taking that same shadow on my IB130 and run it along the outer portion of my lower lash line. Next I'm going to be taking Illusion, which is a white, but it has kind of like a purple duochrome to it. And I'm just going to be using my Sedona Lace EB13 to apply this. And I'm going to be using this shadow as my brow bone highlight. And now I'm going to take a little bit of Foil Me from Glamour Doll Eyes. And I'm just going to place this right on the inner corner. And I'm going to take a little bit more of Illusion on my Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush. And I'm just going to be placing this right on top of Foil Me. Right, next I'm just going to take a black eyeliner. This is my Milani Metallic Liquify Eye Pencil. And I'm just going to be smudging this along the upper lash line. 
Next, I'm just going to be taking a little bit more of Urban Trash on this Angle Liner Brush, which was the matte black shadow that we used before. And I'm just going to set this eyeliner and kind of blend it out and smudge it out. to run over that with a little bit of deception on my Sigma Smudger E21 brush. And then again just going in with that angle brush. Just to make it look a little bit more smoky. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara. I am using my L'Oreal Power Volume Collagen Mascara and the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. So I'm just going to do that and I will be right back to show you how to finish the rest of the face. And for this look I am not going to be using bronzer because they didn't really have too much of a contoured face. So I'm just going to be taking this blush here from MAC and it's called Salsa Rose. And I'm using my C427 from Crown Brush to apply that. And I'm going to be applying this very, very lightly and tapping off any extra on my hand first. I'm going to apply this blush more towards the apples of the cheeks and then blend it back. going to take my powder brush and just really blend this blush into the face. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Whisper of Guilt from MAC and just put this right on the cheekbones. And for my lips, I'm going to be doing the um, 20s kind of really bow styled lip. So I'm going to be using the NYX lip liner in Cabaret, which looks like this. It's a dark kind of wine color. And I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Lip Cream in Red Dwarf, which is this deep, dark, maroony red color. And then in the center, just to kind of make my lips look a little bit more plump, I'm going to be using Resist from Illamasqua. Okay guys, and that is the completed look. I really hope that you all enjoyed it, and please don't forget to check out the book Born of Illusion if you are interested in um, the 1920s and magic and all of that type of stuff. I thought that this was a really great book. As always, please make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I have those links down below. And if you'd like to see more pictures of this look as well as the full list of products used, please make sure to check out my blog, which I will also have linked down below. Okay guys, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.